opportunity to travel to a lot of events, as Steve said. Um, so I get to see a lot, a lot of different communities, and it's always a treat to be at an event that would be considered a first. And for this area, this is a tremendous turnout. What a fantastic event. Uh, we've had some great sessions. I really enjoyed getting to see a lot of different types of sessions, right? You learned more than just Joomla stuff, but you actually got to hear some great talks on PHP and security and some other topics. So just a fantastic day. And as a result, I know the last thing you want to do is listen to one more keynote, one more topic, and one more stuff that you're supposed to remember. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. 4.30, right? It's not what you're thinking, because I'm talking. Oh my goodness, that is the absolute worst sound that you can hear. But I'm going to start with a personal story. This is the 4.30 a.m. If you don't know me, my name is David Hurley, and one of the things that I am currently doing, and I don't know why, is training for a marathon. That is stupid. Because it means that you have to get up at stupid o'clock to go run in the dark, in the rain, in the middle of the night, because it takes forever, okay? I'm actually doing it for a good cause. Uh, my wife introduced me to it, and I think she did it for the right reasons, not just to get me out of the house for extended periods of time, or to make me get up at unseemly hours of the morning. Um, but one of the things that came about as a result of the running was finding motivation. How on earth am I going to do this? Why do I want to do this? And how to motivate myself? So I'd like to finish up today with just a couple of ways, 10 ways, and I'll go through them quick, uh, to either become motivated, to stay motivated, um, or even to get motivated. So I'll go through these quickly. And again, it's kind of from personal experience a bit, and kind of I think also what I'd like to do is relate that to taking what you've learned today at this amazing event, all the sessions, the communications, the networking. How many of you got to meet somebody today that you've never met before? All right, that's awesome. Almost everybody in the room. So you've made connections. You've found common interests with other people, and you need to keep those beyond just today. You want to establish a connection, a network of friends that you can call and say, you're not going to believe what I had to go through today with this client. Or someone that you can say, hey, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Can you help me? Those are the types of connections. That's what these events are really all about. And you don't want to lose that after today, right? Because today is the opportunity when you get to hear it and you get to live it, and you get to see it. It's almost like this little bit of a mountaintop experience. But then what? After today, how do you continue that? So I'd like to discuss 10 ways of staying motivated. And first, or 10, however you want to look at it, they're in no particular order. So nobody think that I'm leading up to the best, OK? All these are great. You should remember all 10. Remember to have fun. Why are you doing what you do? Why do you want to get involved? Why would you want to be involved in Joomla? Why would you want to be involved in any sort of activity that you're doing? You want to remember to have fun. You're doing it because it's enjoyable to you. If you lose that enjoyment, if you lose that sense of fun, then it becomes a chore, a task, and you'll very quickly demotivate yourself. Be true to your character. Wait, time out. You see how fast that is? We're going to fly through these. You're going to be out of here in no time. So nobody fall asleep. We won't be long, I promise. Okay. Be true to your character. Don't get involved in something because you think you should do it, but it's not really something you believe in um, because it's different than what you would normally do. Do it because it's something that inherently resounds with you. It's true to your character. Because if that's one of the reasons why you do something, that's going to help motivate you. Okay? So be true to your character. Don't be afraid to look inside. And I mean that in the sense that don't be afraid to look at yourself and say, OK, what is it that I want to accomplish? Why would I do this? Why? Why would I want to be involved in Joomla? Um, let's say I'm not really a coder, but I know how to write. Why would I want to spend my time 
writing for Joomla. Or maybe I don't really know what my talents are. Don't be afraid to look inside. Figure out what you're good at. Figure out ways in which you can use what you're good at to benefit and encourage the growth of the community. Because there's more value than just what you can do for the community. You get your personal value as well. You'll see your own, uh, your own quality of life improve when you're, when you're involved in something that's bigger than yourself. Be a dreamer, okay? One thing for me anyways that motivates me drives my wife insane, is that I'm always thinking big. I have huge ideas. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And she says, honey, you're not going to do that. She keeps me grounded, which is good. Um, but don't be afraid to dream, to think big, to not only think about what is it that I want to accomplish this week or this month or this year? What do I want to accomplish long term with my life? What are those goals that I want to set for myself. Because if you set those as grandiose, as big as they might be, those dreams are going to help motivate you. It's going to be what gets you up in the morning and gets you going through the day and encourages you. And you can use that to help motivate yourself. Always, always question yourself. And this one's a hard one because Especially in some ways, I know I'm the smartest, right? I know I'm better than this guy. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. I know way more than he does. It's really easy to take that approach. And I say that in jest, but in reality, oftentimes it's easy to hear someone else talking. It's easy to hear them elaborating on something, finding a fault in it, and grabbing that. And saying, you know what? Ah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I know more than he does. Not even meaning, meaning to do it maliciously, but the end result is that you think too much of your own abilities. So if you're always questioning yourself, not in a bad way, and not even verbally, or not even where other people understand or recognize it, but even in the little ways where you just stop, and you listen, and then you say, do I really believe what I believe? And do I have the right reasons for believing what I believe? And question yourself. Because then what you'll do is you'll prove to yourself, first of all, either you did know, or maybe you're going to prove to yourself, you know what? I didn't know. They knew better. And improve yourself. And that's going to be another motivational factor, because once again, you're improving yourself. You're motivating yourself, and you're encouraging yourself. Make a goal to start small. So this is the flip side of the dreamer, right? You want to be a dreamer. You want to have these big ideas that you want to accomplish. But you have to start somewhere. And if ever you sit down and you have this massive idea of what you want to accomplish, if you try to go at it and just accomplish that massive project, it is not going to be successful. Or it might be, but rarely will it be successful. Instead, what you're going to be met with are obstacles that come along the way. And when you start with such a huge idea, it can become almost impossible to reach that goal. But if you start small, then your obstacles will be smaller. You'll be able to reach that goal. And then you set another goal and another goal. And step by step, you accomplish your dreams. But you do it one step at a time. You take that next step. So just like when you're running, and it's in the middle of the night, and you're running through puddles, you're not so much thinking, I'm running 26.2 miles. This is insane the whole time. Because if you do that, you're not going to finish. But if you think, you know what, I'm just running to that street light. I'm just running to the end of the block. One little step at a time, it gets you to where you want to be. For me, for me when I'm running, um, I've mapped out a route so that when I, when I go 13 miles, I turn around and I go home. <laughs> so at least for me, I'm saying, OK, I'm going to get here, I'm going to get here. And then when I get to that 13, it's like, all right, I'm almost there. I just got to go home. It's still the same distance. But in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm halfway done. I'm there. I just got to get back. And I've already done that, so no big deal. And it's psychological. I tricked myself. <laughs> Sometimes it's okay to be bad. 
Wait a minute. Not what you're thinking. What I mean by being bad is it's okay to fail. You're not going to be right every time. You're not going to do it right every time. It's okay to fail. And when you're on those many steps, taking the next step one piece at a time, you're going to have obstacles that come up. You're not always going to accomplish the goal that you wanted to. You're going to fail. Anyone that says, I was a massive success, I never met a single failure, is completely lying. <laughs> it's okay to fail. It's okay to be bad. In fact, one of the things, when I'm talking about Joomla, one of the things that comes up that I... Uh, it often gets asked of me, okay, I'm not going to necessarily share this, but it often says, how do we migrate from 2.5 to 3.5? Because I remember 1.5 to 1.7 was a nightmare. Yes. So you know what? I take the opportunity to be bad. And say, you know what? We didn't do the best job that we could have done with that migration process. I admit failure. And it's not that we totally failed, because really, honestly, it's, it was still a good product. It was still a good release. But I admit that there was a problem there. And what did we do as a result of that? I think the community as a whole demonstrated that, yes, we noticed there's a problem. Let's fix it. And so if you look now at the upgrade process from 2.5 to 3, or from 3 to 3.2, or to 3.3, or to 3.4, it becomes very, very simple. So we took what we would say was a fail, a time when we were bad, and we turned it around and made it an incredible positive. So now that upgrade is incredibly easy. So we motivated ourselves as a community by looking at something that was bad and turning it to something that's good. I was talking with someone right before the session, and. Um, this was something that came up. It's something I personally struggle with greatly. It's the idea of staying focused. I, it kind of goes against the dreamer, right? Because you, you have these ideas, and you have all these grand plans, and sometimes it's hard to stay focused on the thing that's actually where you should be spending your time. And it's important to be motivated that you set Realistic next steps, realistic goals. What is it that you want to accomplish? And stay focused on them. Don't keep adding on more and more different things that you need to do. But stay focused on just those things that you want to set out to accomplish. Because then you're going to see those successes. There'll be those little steps, those little successes, which will lead you to that great success. So when we look at Joomla, there's so many ways you can be involved. Sometimes it can be intimidating, and immediately you throw up your hands and say, nope, I don't know how to get involved. There are too many ways in Joomla for me to actually do anything, so I'm not going to do anything. Instead, do one of the earlier motivational steps and look inside and say, what is it that I'm good at? What is it that I think that I could do that would be of value to this community? And then I'm going to focus just on that area and get involved. So if it was, let's say, um, I know how to test something. You know what? I can look at, at a page and say, this doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I don't know what the code is behind it. But I can look at this and I can say, it does not work. That's needed in Joomla. We need those types of people. Because oftentimes the developer who wrote the code or the developer that did the initial work knows what it's supposed to do and effectively clicks through to make it do what he thought it was supposed to do. It works great for him, but it doesn't work for anybody else. We need people that can just come in and say, I have no idea what it's supposed to do. I have no idea what you're trying to accomplish or the code that you wrote. But if I click here and I click here, it blows up. Your problem, fix it. That's, that's one area in which you can get involved in. You don't even have to know how to code. Um, you can get involved with, I mentioned the magazine. Uh, there's so many ways in which you can get involved. You can get involved in your local community. You can get involved with user groups and establishing meetups so that you can network and carry on the effect of today on a monthly or bi-monthly basis. 
and get together with people and share your horror stories, share your successes. Um, but it's important not to overextend and try to be too much all at once or to be overwhelmed by the size of the community and not get involved at all. So I encourage you to stay focused. Be willing to ask for help. <coughs> so I'm a guy. Is that, is that it? I mean, that's all I have to say, right? <laughs> this was a hard one, right? I mean, thankfully, I'm so thankful for Google because I've got Google Maps, right? <laughs> She never blames me, ever. She just recalculates. <laughs> she doesn't say, you're going the wrong way. You're three blocks where you're supposed to. No, she says, recalculating. Take the left on the head. Makes life so much easier, right? Be willing to ask for help. If you don't know what the answer is, if you don't know where to get involved, don't be afraid to ask. Um, as the community dev manager for Joomla, I get the opportunity of connecting people. I get to travel and meet people and listen to people and then connect them. So I love to hear from people that say, I don't know what to do. Can you help me? Absolutely. That just thrills me. I got to talk with somebody a little bit earlier um, about security and, and the Joomla security strike team. So we've got a special team that's set up just to handle when we find a security flaw or something in Joomla that has to be fixed immediately and we have to get it pushed out. We have a real need for people that are really technical to be able to handle that type of thing on a small and large scale. And I had somebody come up to me and say, we'd love to get involved with that, but we don't know where to start. Sweet! I can get you involved with that. Give me your name, give me your email, tell me who to contact, I will connect you with the right people and get you plugged in. Okay? That was somebody that wasn't afraid to say, you know what, I need help. Because I want to help, but I don't know where to start. So I encourage you to be willing to ask for help. Ladies, I'm sure that's no problem for you. For guys, it'll be a little bit more of a challenge, but I know you can do it. Don't forget to reward yourself. And I know, I know, nobody's been looking at the slide. Everybody's been looking at the corner. <laughs> how many numbers left? So you know where I'm at. Okay. Don't forget to reward yourself. Because what are we talking about? We're talking about 10 ways to stay motivated. If you're not finding some personal value, some reward for what you're doing, you're not going to want to keep doing it. With running, for me, reaching the end is a pretty big goal. And I'll admit, I haven't shared this with, with many, but I didn't start out with the marathon in mind. In fact, my wife, when she mentioned it, didn't mention the marathon. She mentioned the half marathon. Like, that's doable. You can do 13 miles. Uh, she didn't have much faith in me, apparently, thinking I could get 26. Um, but what she, she said, well, why don't you try for that? So me, being the typical male, went on and found an app and stuck it on my phone and said, OK, this is a training program I can use. Well, while I'm looking at the training program, I see, oh, look, there's a training program for running the marathon. And I go, how do I do a half if I can do a full? Right? So I start looking at it, and it says, under four hour marathon. Well, at this point, I'm really intrigued because I'm like, I have no idea what this means. I don't know. I'm not a runner. I've got to go figure this out. So I go online. I Google. And it's like under four hour marathon. Ooh, that means you're a real runner. You're not just the guy that finishes the marathon, but you know what you're doing. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to sign up for that one, right? Because I'm going to do that. For me, the reward is being able to accomplish that goal that I've set. It's stupid. I probably won't do it. I'm not going to follow up with you and let you know if I've done it or not. <laughs> Actually, it's all over Twitter. Um, so you're more than welcome to follow me on Twitter. I'll share my handle in just a second. Here. You can track me. Um, I'm actually doing it to raise money for a good cause. Um, so if you're so inclined, feel free to look back through my tweet history. Um, I'll probably tweet in the next couple days. My run is next week. So at this point, I'm getting a little nervous. Um, I think I'll make it. But who knows? We'll see. Um, but yeah, for me, the reward is being able to accomplish that goal, being able to, to say I'm going to do something and then doing it. Um, with Joomla, there's lots of ways in which you can reward yourself. 
Do you reward yourself by saying, I sat through the entire day, now I get a beer? Right? That's a reward. You're rewarding yourself. So you're staying motivated, you're staying in this session because of the reward you're going to get. So I encourage you to stay motivated and most of all to reward yourself and find ways of these 10, you don't have to do all 10, find three, pick three that are the most interesting to you and say these are the ways for the next 30 days I'm going to stay motivated at this level of energy for Joomla and the community and I'm going to stay involved and stay motivated. Because really, like it is when I'm running, first thing in the morning, it's dark, it's rainy. Man, this last weekend, I had to run in the rain, and it was pitch black, and I was miserable, and I really was looking stoplight to stoplight, like I gotta just keep going. But about on the way back, so about two thirds of the run through, the sun's coming up. The rain stopped. And it's like, woo, now this is feeling good. Now I'm getting the reward for all the work that I'm putting in. So I encourage you to stay motivated, to look for the bright spots, to take one step at a time, take the next step, find ways in which you can get involved, and start contributing, continue contributing to Joomla as a project. If you have questions about how to do that, come and talk to me. I'll be around after. Um, I think I put my Twitter handle up here, at DB Hurley. You can follow me on Twitter. Reach out to me. I want to hear from you. I want to find ways in which I can help you stay motivated, get motivated, and contribute to Joomla. So thank you for your time, for your attention. I think most everyone stayed awake and only a handful of people stayed on their laptops the whole time. Thank you very much for your time, and I look forward to talking with you after the session.